What's up everybody, Sam Smice here. Today I want to show you to make the base to Leave Me Like This by Skrillex with Bobby Raps. Now if you're watching this video, then you've probably seen some of my other videos. And if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please go ahead and subscribe. And also please go ahead and give this video a like to help with that YouTube algorithm. All right, let's go and jump right into it. Let me go ahead and play you the base we're going to make today. This bass is made up of two layers. I have that one layer that has the FM sound that rings out, and then another layer that is like that distorted kick sound. Now basically, I'm gonna show you how to make these two layers and then how we can combine these two layers into one serum preset. Now this 8 bass bass I just got from Splice. Let me go ahead and unfreeze this. And this is the one-shot 8 bass bass that I got from Splice. I'll play it for you. It just sounds like that. So you can use this one, you can find this on Splice, or if you have another one that you like, maybe just like an 808 kick and bass combined together, you can use that. So basically I took this 808 sample and then chopped it up and aligned it with the MIDI. Let me just show you the MIDI. It's D, D, D sharp, and then the next one over here. This is gonna be MIDI for that second part that I have playing. And then I just aligned this 808 one shot up with that MIDI, and then I transposed it to fit with the notes. And you can either do this where you chop up the chop up the actual audio or you can put it into sampler and then just play it on your sampler. And basically this is what it sounds like without any effects. And then I put on the saturator and with this saturator I really wanted that really hard clipping that digital distortion and to do that, I used the hard curve, set the dry and wet to about 75%, and then made some adjustments to these little knobs. And it's going to just hear that. So that's what that saturator does. And then to give it some width, because I feel like in the actual track, this kick hit has a bit of width, I added on a plate reverb. And then just a bit of EQ just to roll off a little bit of top end. Uh, and let's see if that's even doing much. Yeah, maybe don't even really need that EQ, but that's essentially that kick sound. And then for this lead part that's in Serum, I have this side change to that kick sound. So when that kick hits, this FM sound ducks under it, and then it comes up after it hits. Like that. So if I just listen to this... FM noise that I made in Serum, it sounds like this. So like no attack to it, it just sounds almost kind of patty sounding and it just has a really long release. So let me just go ahead and show you how we can make this FM sound in Serum. I'll initialize this preset. I'll turn on the sub, lower this negative two octave, and I'm going to be using FM. So let's go to analog basic shapes for oscillator A and lower this negative three octave. And I'll lower this randomness, do my FM from B, and we're gonna set this FM from B to about 35%. It's gonna turn on the oscillator B, and I will do basic shapes on the sine wave, lower this randomness, and lower this level, because we're just using it for the FM. And there you have that FM sound. And basically, I want that FM to change so I'm going to go to my LFO one and adjust my LFO one, and I'll do envelope and set the rate to one bar. And this LFO one, I'll sign it to the FM from B and let's do the modulation about 15 or so. Let's say that. And then I got to adjust my envelope one so that we have that nice ringing out, that nice release. And obviously we don't want the notes to overlap, so turn on mono on your voicing. And then I wanna add on a filter to filter off some of that top end ringing. And I'll put the cutoff around eight or 900 hertz, raise up this resonance, and then raise up my drive. And now what I'll do is I'll go to my effects and add on the compressor. And then after that compressor, I'll add on the distortion. And I want to set my drive and mix to about 60%. 
after the distortion, let's go ahead and add on some hyperdimension for some width. I'll do, let's adjust this rate in the detune. And then let's do two for that unison and put the mix at, let's say like 30%, just for a little bit of width. And then we're gonna cut off some of that low end. Let's say around, let's say 130. And then after that EQ, I'm gonna go ahead and put back on that Kickstart 2 that is going to be sidechained to the 808 bass. And you see, this is cool with this Kickstart 2 is I can actually click on audio and I can see the audio waveform from that 808 bass or that 808 kick. And then I adjust it. So let's go ahead and play this FM with the 808 bass. And now we've got that 808 bass and that FM together. Then I'll go ahead and add back on my compressor. And then this is going to be a plate reverb. Just for some additional width and then the kick start, which is side chaining now this whole bass to the drums, the kick. And then play this with the drums one more time. Now that's how you make it with those two layers. And let me go ahead and show you something cool that we can do now with Serum. So let me go ahead and duplicate this lead. And I'll turn off this kickstart. Let's go ahead and turn off these kickstarts, take off that side chaining. And now when I go into Serum, if I go to this menu, there's an option that says resample to oscillator A, resample to oscillator B. We've got these options to resample. So what that means is I can take the output of Serum and resample it, and then it converts it into a wavetable. So basically this sound, this one shot, it'll create like a one shot sound from Serum, including everything here and then also the effects, and then convert it into a wavetable. So this is cool because now I can just go resample to oscillator A, and now you see oscillator A basically change into this wavetable. Let me go and just now take everything off, take off the effects. I will take off oscillator B, the filter, the sub, and let's go ahead and just, we'll leave this envelope one alone. Now you hear that and you say, well, that doesn't sound like what we just had before, but that's because if you take this wavetable position knob and rotate it, this actually has to cycle through this whole wavetable in order for it to replicate that sound that we just resampled. So basically I already have this LFO one set for rate one bar. And I think that's the length of time that it creates that sample for, for like one bar. So we're gonna just assign it to this wavetable position and actually let's do it this way. So that starts here and then goes all the way through the cycle. Now that sounds pretty close to what I just created in Serum. It's a bit quiet and sounds a little bit different, but it's pretty close. And I can play around with the positions. So now we have that only taking up one oscillator in oscillator A and we have everything else free to now try to create that initial hit sound. But now what I can do is I can take this 808 one shot, and then I can put on my saturator, my Valhalla Vintage Verb, my EQ, and then I can go ahead and freeze this. And then once I freeze this, I can essentially just hit option and then drag it to a new track, and then that flattens it. Or you could just go here and then flatten. So now we have a one shot that sounds like this. And that's this one shot. And now I can go to my noise oscillator and just drag this one shot into the noise oscillator. And go, let's go ahead and mute oscillator A and play this noise oscillator, turn it on to one shot. And I'm gonna hit this keyboard so that we can adjust the pitch knob. And I'll put up to 11 to get it into the right key. And now we have that kick sound in the noise oscillator. And then we have the FM sound in oscillator A. And now what we have to do is we just have to make some adjustments to where their releases and also kind of like where they hit. So basically I need to create an artificial side chain essentially in this oscillator A. And I'm gonna to go to my LFO2 and we've got some side chain options. So I'll go to side chain six. And now we've got this essential side chain, essentially like a side chain shape. 
And I'll assign this LFO2 to the level and go ahead and turn that up. And let's go ahead and just turn the noise off, put this on envelope. And now it's essentially being sidechained and ducking before this noise hits. But now the noise is still ringing out a lot. So I got to go to this LFO3 and then shape this to how I want that noise oscillator to have a release. So I'm just going to double click, create my points, turn on the envelope, rate one fourth, and then assign this LFO3 to the level of my noise oscillator. And then I'm just going to play around with this. And then you can play around with the shapes of your LFO2 and 3 to get it to fit. So I think something like that, that sounds kind of like how it sounded as those two layers before. And now if I just play my keyboard. Now I have this sound as a serum preset. And you can also now add on effects. You can add on some more distortion, some compression. Maybe I'll add on some compression. So that's how you create the bass to leave me like this by Skrillex with Bobby Raps. If you do want to grab this preset, I'll put a link down below so you can grab it for free. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like and also please subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. And also, if you would like to check out any of my Serum preset packs, I'll put links down below for those as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.